Right, pendulous swing. This is this is one of my favourite frozen shoulder type exercises. The idea of this exercise is what we're going to do. If you imagine that's um, your humerus, yeah, and that's the ball, which goes into the socket. Even though the, it's a ball and socket, the shoulder joint's more like a golf ball and a tee. But what we're trying to do with this act, um, exercise, sorry, is kind of distract the head of the humerus slightly away from the socket and then mobilize it. Okay, and the idea is, is a synovial joint lubricated by synovial fluid. If you've had a shoulder issue and you've got restricted range of movement, the synovial fluid isn't really getting round all around the joint. And this is designed to push the fluid round. If you think of your, think of your joint like a piston, yeah, which is lubricated by oil, if that lubrication isn't all the way around, the piston isn't going to glide and move correctly. And that's, that's what this is designed to do. So I've just got myself here a 2.27 kilogram weight. That will about do it. If you don't have um, weights at home, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a shopping bag with a couple of a bag of sugar and a tin of beans or something. Yeah, just to create that, that weight. And what I'm going to do is, so this, this is my kitchen, kitchen worktop. Yeah, so I'm in the kitchen, I've got my shopping bag. Right, and I'm going to try and bend over to try and keep my back as straight as I can. And then I'm going to allow, I just want this arm to go soft and loose. I'm just, just holding on just with my fingers. The idea being, let the weight pull my shoulder down. I'm keeping my shoulders nice and square. And then from here, I'm just going to start making circles. Okay, small circles. You go clockwise at first, and then you can change direction, go anti-clockwise. Yeah, and then you can increase the size. And you really want to, you, you're playing about with it to see what you can get. You can sort of come up and back and round, and then like a, an oval, I guess. And you can do the same to the sides. Yeah. And then go into like a figure of eight type motion. And then all the time, you're increasing, increasing the range that you're moving the shoulder through. If you're moving through and you've got an issue and you get to here and it catches, you know, like that's a bit sore, then work just before it, okay? Just work just up to the catch point, but don't go into it. So we're not looking to aggravate in this exercise. What we're looking to do is move that fluid around, like I say, and get the shoulder opened up. So if it's catchy up here, I'll come to there. If it's catchy there, I'll come to there. Catchy, that's an interesting word. But <laughs> if you have a shoulder problem, you'll know what I mean when I say it catches. And then you just continue to increase the size if you can. Increase the size change the direction, change the angles, yeah? So do your figure of eights in different directions and really use the weight as the momentum. So your arm isn't doing the work, the weight's creating the momentum. Yeah, you're trying to keep your arm as soft as possible. You don't really want to, you try to minimize any contraction of any muscle in this arm to allow the, the fluid to get around fully. And you just continue like that for you know, nine seconds to two minutes. Nine seconds, two minutes, do that once or twice a day. And then you, you'll feel it just opens up the shoulder and it just makes it feel a lot looser. And each time you do it, yeah, slowly, shoulders are slow, please. Slowly that range of movement is going to increase and increase and increase. You'll get further and further out. But there it is, I really like it. Very, very effective exercise for, you know, frozen shoulder and all those kind of nasty issues you can get.